everyone, welcome to the second season of The Racing Seat. I'm Rez. And I'm Matt. Recently, Rez's car hasn't really been going that fast at all. In fact, it hasn't actually moved at all. Yeah, it's been broken for months. So I needed a new car to get around with. And uh, this is it. All $281 worth of it. Uh, it's got nice leather seats, a wood grain dash, aircon that works, the whole car works and uh, we're going to detail it today and make it all shiny again. There is one rather large issue however. It uh, doesn't actually have a roof. Yeah, we're going to have fun with that. Let's go. Let's go. So Matt couldn't make it today to help me film the first day of detailing. So I went to my local oil shop so I could get some gear so I could get started without him. So the first thing I did was rinse off all the dirt and loose debris off the car before I filled a bucket with soapy water and washed the car down with a microfiber mitt. After that I changed to a rag that I used to clean the wheels. I use a different rag to clean the wheels as it gets really dirty. After washing the car I grabbed a chamois and dried the car off. I also let the car sit for a little while so any excess water could evaporate off before I started polishing. Now that the car's all dry it was time to polish it. So I grabbed my random orbital buffer and some polish and started working on small sections of the car at a time. So next up, I started cleaning the windows. Now when you're using window cleaner in a car, it's important to use one that's ammonia free, as ammonia can damage tint on the windows. The next day I went to Matt's and we continued detailing. We got some black exterior trim detailer, which re-blacks the exterior trims and mud flaps of your car. Whoever owned this previously had been towing something with it. I'm not exactly sure what you possibly could tow, but we've got no use for the tow bar. The only thing we could tow is James's car, and I don't think it'll even do that. So we're going to remove it. First, we're going to spray the bolts with some WD-40. Hopefully that'll loosen them up a bit. Then we're just going to give it a crack with a shifter. So after buying the car for $281 and two days of detailing it, here it is, my Peugeot 306 Cabriolet.
Now that we've finished all the detailing, we decided to take it for a drive. We went to the Great Ocean Road, which is one of Australia's scenic roads on the east coast. So there you have it, Rez has now joined the ranks of the Euro convertible toss pots. <laughs> yep, we washed it, we polished it, we re-blacked the trims, took off the tow bar, and cleaned the interior. It's looking nice and shiny now and clean. Yeah, I actually noticed while we're cleaning it that it is designed by Pina Farina. Yeah, it's basically a Ferrari now. You're a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> that's, from, <laughs> that's it from us at the racing seat. I'm Rez. And I'm Matt. Let's go.